Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, I want to show you how to resolve the problem where you log into your um, WordPress site or you try to access your WordPress site. And basically what it does is instead of going to the site, it downloads a file, as you can see here. Like example, uh, some of the stuff in here is accessible, but some of the stuff when you click it, it just downloads a file instead of actually opening it. So the problem is being caused by um, you probably either had a cache plugin installed that changed something in the way that the website is handling your files, your HTTP files, or you changed your PHP version recently, or again it goes back to some plugin modified something in your um, site's access so essentially what you need to do is you need to first log into your cpanel and to be able to um, do this obviously you're going to need the credentials for your hosting back office now once you log in you're going to go to the file manager in order to resolve this and when you're in here there's going to be a few files uh, that you're going to need access to to be able to reset them. The first one is over here, you're going to have a file called php.ini right, right here somewhere. And if you don't have it, um, then it's probably located inside your public HTML folder. So if you click that, you're going to have a few files in here, obviously your WordPress stuff, there's going to be an 8.hta access and most likely there's also going to be another file in here called php.ini or php user ini or user ini or php.ini or something like that. So essentially what you're going to want to do is just delete those files. Um, simply delete the files and what that's going to do is it's going to reset the, uh, the, like the settings essentially. Now, once you delete the files, like you might, um, when you go back to your WordPress site, you should be able to access the settings and the permalinks. And when you're in here, click on save settings. And once you save the setting, those files are the, especially the .ht access is going to be restored again. Like it's basically going to show up again and you're going to just click reload and you'll see it here again. Now, once you have it here, um, you're going to want to open up the site from a different browser because now my cookies are not cleared from this, um, this browser yet. I'm using Chrome in this example. But if you see here, like example, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to open up another browser, which is um, uh, Edge, basically. So this is Microsoft Edge or go to Firefox, doesn't matter, just any browser that you haven't used this site in. And if I go to this site again right now, let me just show you here. The If I go to the site again, you see that I can actually open it. Now, if I go back to my original browser, if I, if I put the site, you see it still downloads the file, but that's only because um, I haven't cleared the cookies yet. Now, another thing you could do if let's say you um, you did this and it still doesn't work, like it's it's still downloading a file, first thing you need to do is clear your cookies, of course. But if it doesn't work, the last thing you should do is go back to your um, go back to your file manager in your um, back office in your cPanel. Now, by the way, if you don't see a .ht access, click on the settings and enable show hidden files, dot files. And then you should see the HT access. So if you deleted it and you clicked on save the permalinks and you still uh, having this issue from another browser, simply edit this file. And at the very top, right up here, you see there's a little line of code. It says add handler application XTTPD dash PHP 7.3. Now, PHP 7.3 is what I'm running on this machine, this site, but you could change this to example, PHP 1, PHP just 7, PHP 7.2, P 
PHP 5, whatever your version is, okay? You can even look up like uh, PHP handler and then dot ht access. So if you click on just any one of these results, it will give you the different uh, handlers. You see this handler is for PHP 7, this handler is for PHP, uh, what's this one for? Single. So example seven is over here. Sideground actually had a really good article about this one here. So here's the one for um, PHP 7.3, PHP 7.2, PHP 7.1, PHP 7.5.6. So whichever version you've got for PHP, that's the one you want to add if it still doesn't work after you reset it. Now, in my example, I have PHP 7.3, so I'm just going to leave it at 7.3 and save it. But the way you know what PHP version you've got is go back to your cPanel and uh, right up here, just put PHP and you're going to see PHP multi PHP manager over here. And when you look at your site, it's going to tell you, you know, what is the PHP version? So as an example, this one is 7.3. So again, what you're going to want to do if it's giving you that issue where it's um, downloading the file instead of processing it is just log into your public, uh, log into your file manager and right at the home directory, you're going to have a php.ini file and a .ht access file. Delete those. <clears throat> if you don't see them here, go to settings enable the show hidden files and you'll see them and after you delete those go to the public html make sure to delete this ht access file then go to your site go to settings permalinks and save it and you should see the 8.ht access file already regenerated and if it still doesn't work after that uh, make sure first to clear your cookies completely from the same browser you're using. Ideally, you want to use a different browser um, because that's going to give you, you know, no issues. And if you still can't access that, then open the ht.ht access file and just add this line, you know, add handler. I'm going to leave this in the description below the video so you'll see it. I'm going to leave a bunch of them just for whichever version you've got. All right, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if this was helpful for you, hit the like button. If uh, you want to see more videos like this in the future, all about WordPress and uh, different uh, online website kind of stuff, just click subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss on uh, any future uploads. All right, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.